What's up guys, welcome to UAV Simplified. I hope you liked the previous video where I showed you guys how to assemble your very first basic drone. So now that we have all the hardware in place, let's talk about the software, which will control your drone and help you fly for these. Firstly, install the INAV configurator on your PC using the link in the description below and follow the on-screen instructions. I'm using a Mac, so we'll be downloading the Mac compatible version. Make sure you always get the most recent version. Next we need to download is the INR firmware for your Radix flight controller. So for that you can use the link in the description below to download and store the firmware on your PC. It will be a .hex file. Now we need to install the firmware onto our drone. So make sure the battery and the propellers are not connected at this point. And now we're going to connect the drone to the PC using the micro USB cable. On the iron app configurator, click on firmware flasher, click on load firmware. Then select the .hex file that you just downloaded and click on Flash Firmware. The configurator will do its job and once it says Programming Successful, you can restart the drone by disconnecting the USB and reconnecting it. Ensure that the drone is connected to the PC using the micro USB to USB cable. The port to which the drone is connected will be automatically selected by iNav. Then click Connect. On the setup screen, you can see all the details of your drone. We have the gyroscope, accelerometer and the barometer online. We have not connected a GPS and a compass, hence they are offline. Apart from that, all the relevant information is available on the setup screen. Click on Calibration then on accelerometer calibration. So now we need to place the drone in the sixth position. Face up. Face down. Facing right. Facing left, and lastly, bottom. Once the accelerometer calibration is complete, click Save and Reboot. Next, click on Mixers, select Multi-Rotor and Quad-X. Click Save and Reboot.
Now we test the motors and ensure that they are spinning the right way. Time to connect the battery. Please ensure the propellers are not connected. Click on outputs under motor test motors. Read the warning and click I understand. Now you can individually test each motor and see if they are spinning in the desired direction. If any of the motor is not spinning as per the shown image, kindly refer to our earlier video and cross the ESC connections to change the direction of the motor spin. Once you have individually tested all four motors, you can test all the motors together using the master button. Click save. Disconnect the battery when not required. Next is to start the voltage and current monitoring. Click on configuration, then start the voltage and current monitoring. Click save and reboot. Now we have to tell the drone what to do in case if there's any problem. This is called a fail safe. Click on fail safe. We are going to choose land as of now. Click save and reboot. We will post a separate video to explain the process of binding the remote with the receiver. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel. To set up the remote, click on ports. We have connected our receiver on the RX3 pin. Hence, we should see that the UR3 serial RX is enabled. If it is not automatically detected, then please enable it and hit save and reboot. Now click on receiver. Under receiver mode, you will see receiver type. We are using serial S bus, so select serial and then under serial receiver provider, select S bus. Hit save and reboot. Now switch on your remote. You will be able to see that the meters are moving as per your remote. Now we need to assign a switch on the remote for arming and disarming the drone. On my remote, I have assigned channel 5 to one of the two position switches. In receiver tab, you can see the values of channel 5 toggling. Now click on modes. Under arm, click add range. Make sure it is set to channel 5. Now use the sliders to highlight one half as on and other half as off. Now. When you will flip the switch on your remote, you can see that the small marker moves from off to on. Hit save. We need one more switch to change the flight mode. On your remote, assign one three position switch to channel 6. In receiver tab, you can see the values of channel 6 toggling. In modes, under angle, click add range. Make sure it's set to channel 6. Now, use the sliders to highlight one third as on and rest as off. Do the same for horizon and nav alt hold. Make sure the on parts do not overlap. Now, when you will flip the three position switch, the different modes are selected as highlighted by the small marker. Hit save. If you have done all the steps correctly, then in the setup page, under the pre-arming checks, you will see all green ticks. This shows that the drone is ready to be armed. And we are ready to fly. 
So guys, now that we are done with the setup, our drone is ready to fly. So in our next video, we're going to show you how our drone is going to take its first flight. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. And stay tuned for the next one. Mm-hmm.